All right. Here we are doing a live stream. Uh, wasn't able to do one last week. I apologize about that. I think I did one last week, Monday, and it was pretty cool. Uh, right now, I'm doing a little bit of sharing. So if you're just joining, please share. Uh, I, you know, very much appreciate uh, a share uh, of the live stream today. So I'm currently sharing it in a few places. Um, hey, Kevin. Greetings from Trinidad. Yeah, greetings. Michael Ayers, Jr. Hey, hi, Michael. Alanis, hey there. Hey, how's it going, Alanis? Yeah, so uh, yes, yeah, so let me just uh, share this. And if you guys could share too, I'd really appreciate it. Share the stream. We're only doing Facebook today. Uh, I wasn't able to get the YouTube to work right. I have no idea what's going on with YouTube. Uh, and neither did Streamlabs. And they said they're looking into it. So until I get that fixed, I'm just going to record it and re-upload it on YouTube. Uh, nice little hour-long uh, <laughs> live stream. Uh, so yeah, so let me just um, share this uh, live stream in a few places. I hope all of you are doing really well. It's uh, October, so hopefully, I know there's a song that says, Wake Me Up When September Ends. We're no longer going to hear that. <laughs> uh, it's because it's now, you know, September is over. So let's see, Don Blue Studios, uh, live stream, uh, working on, working on Bluth Fables. I have some really cool updated news uh, that I'm hoping to share with you guys as well. So let me just select all this, copy that, share it in a few places, share it on traditional, and here and here. It's um, it's a, I, I, it's funny. It's September already. I mean October, and it's still here in Arizona. I think it's 108 degrees. It's insanity. <laughs> I was out there. I just got back from Don's. Uh, he gave me some more drawings for this story right here, and I'm driving with the windows down. I was like, God, ah, maybe put my windows up. It's 108 degrees out there. <laughs> So, but okay, so did that. Let me share it on a couple pages. So I usually do this uh, with the, the logo going on, but I just want to get everything started right away and get to talk to you guys right away because I know it's been a while. It's been a, what, a week and a few days. Usually I want to do it every Thursday, but uh, last week I was in California, so I wasn't able to do that. I think it was last week. Uh, the last live stream I was in California, so I wasn't able to do that. Then I came back, but I am back. Robert Dean Fry, greetings from your mom's house. Hey, that's hilarious. <laughs> well, I'm at your dad's house. Say hi, dad. Hey, son. Well, there's your dad. <laughs> Alana says, oh, my God, I love. This is actually Don's drawing. Uh, this is actually a Bluth fable. So what I'm doing, uh, you must be new to the stream. Welcome. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm doing a thing called desmudging, where I'm getting rid of all the, the dirtiness around it, and I'm also coloring it, and I also will be doing some background uh, coloring as well, like painting. So that is what's going on here. Uh, let me just, I'm sharing this in a couple more places. Uh, let's see, do, 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 right here. And I don't know if you guys heard, but there's something cool happening right now that we started with traditional animation, and I can't wait to announce that to you guys and girls. I think this is enough. I don't have to keep sharing, but if you are here, please share. Um, again, we're not on uh, YouTube today. I'm just recording it, and I'll be uploading it to YouTube, uh, mainly because there's been some live stream problem with YouTube. Hey, Lou Schneider. How's it going? Welcome to the live stream. Okay, I would say that's enough for now. Okay, perfect. Okay, so welcome to the live stream. I am Laval Lee from Don Blue Studios. I'm the VP of Don Blue Studios, and I also am the editor in chief of traditionalanimation.com. Uh, we're doing something really special for October. Uh, I know everyone does usually Inktober. Uh, but Inktober is, I don't, I feel like it's not geared towards animators or artists or cartoon enthusiasts or anything like that. So we're doing a little thing called Toontober. So Toontober is basically 
Here, let me scroll down here. Toontober is where we do different prompts or themes for every three days. So it started yesterday, which was October 1st. So for the first three days, it's going to be rubber hose animation. That's like Oswald and uh, the Lucky Rabbit and Felix the Cat and even early Mickey Mouse. And then it goes on for the next four days, or four, day four to six, 30s and 40s animation. Disney's golden age, like Snow White and wartime stories. Then days seven through nine, classic shorts, Looney Tunes, Tom and Jerry, and more. Uh, days 10 through 12 is Disney movies, uh, Silver and Bronze Age, which is Cinderella through the Rescuers Down Under. Days 13 through 15 is Hanna-Barbera. Gotta love Hanna-Barbera. And the day 16 through 18 is the 80s, which is toy-based cartoons, 80s animated movies, like Rock and Roll and, you know, He-Man. Uh, days 19 to 21, of course, there has to be a Don Blue theme, of course. <laughs> and then the 90s, which is days 22 through 24, is the Disney Renaissance classic cartoon shorts. And then days 25 through 27 is 21st century, like uh, Adventure Time and stuff that's, you know, newer now. And then days 28 through 30, just draw your favorite characters. And then day 31 is spooky cartoons. Now, there are awards for this. So you can win... Uh, three animation cells, well, two animation cells in a series cell. So there's Brave Little Toaster cell, there's Alvin and a Chipmunk cell, and then a Dexter's Laboratory uh, series cell, because uh, that's that's what I have for Dexter. There's also a little keychain for Turtles, there's some Pocahontas trading cards, Anastasia trading cards, and a Dragon's Lair lanyard. Thanks, El Ennis. Yeah. So that's first place. Second place... You get a Goof Troop postcard and Anastasia trading card pack and a Hunchback of Notre Dame pack. So the way to enter is to go to Toon. Let me just scroll back up. Toontober.com. Or you go to traditionalanimation.com and we've got links all over the place on there. Uh, Don Blue Studios uh, did... Uh, let me get rid of my messages. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, Don Blue Studios did, uh, us here at Don Blue Studios, we we donate a couple items like the Anastasia cards and the lanyard. Uh, there might be some more items coming soon that we're going to add. I uh, just don't want to say anything yet, but there might be more items added to the um, contest. So when you go to tunetober.com, it'll take you to our Discord. And our Discord is humongous. Tons and tons of people. And so far, we've had all these entries for just a day and a half. So there's tons and tons of entries here, which is very, very cool. Very, very pleased about that. So basically what happened is we were talking about in the Discord, we wanted to do some kind of contest. We did a couple of contests before. Uh, Atlanta says... I'm a 2D student from Costa Rica. I'm taking a fundraiser class, but I don't, uh, but I still don't have color. Well, good. Uh, I'm glad you're taking classes. Education is important. <laughs> so, uh, but to Intober again, uh, it, it's pretty huge. We're very happy to be part of it and to host it. Um, we even got the .com, so to Intober.com will bring us to uh, Tradition Animation. I mean, uh, to the Tradition Traditional Animation Discord. And uh, but we were talking about having a contest, uh, me and the other mods of the the traditional mission Discord group, which was be Warren, Pedro, and Stephanie. We're all like, we gotta do something, we gotta do something. It's been so long since we've done any contests, so we came up with Toontober, and there you have it. So that's Toontober. So you want more information, of course, go to traditionalanimation.com. You can go to Toontober on Facebook, you go to Toontober on Instagram, or Toontober on Twitter. And if you upload your uh, images in the Discord, we repost them for you to give you exposure, and we tag you. So this is really this this contest is really about giving artists like yourselves exposure in uh, exposure online. You know, get you some followers, get you some fans. Uh, and everyone's working together, everyone's, you know, helping each other out and being very encouraging with each other, and it's been awesome. So, that's enough of that. So please, if you want to join Toontober for the month, 
go to tuntober.com or traditionalmation.com for more information. That is that. Okay, so let me get started on this actual stream. Okay, so this is the Don Bluth drawing. We're doing four Bluth fables. Uh, I'm going to be doing some de-smudging where, I, like I said, I get rid of... Uh, uh, let me turn that off and put this on. I've already started. So if you could see right around in this area right here, I've already cleaned up some of the smudge, but you can see all the smudge pretty much everywhere. And that's what I've been doing a lot in these streams is I just clean up the clean up the smudge, color the characters, and then paint the backgrounds in watercolor. So that is what I'm doing today. Now during this live stream at any time, feel free to ask questions. Uh, I'm all about questions, so go ahead and let me get started. So I start with the eraser. I go in. I usually zoom in so I could get closer and actually see what I'm doing. I'm going to, today I'm going to clean, let's see, let's clean this area right here. This area needs it. Bring the eraser up. And I have it on soft eraser. And pretty much all I'm doing is just going around and cleaning all this extra stuff. And then what I'll do is I'll take the marquee tool and go around with the marquee and then do a second erase to get rid of the rest of it. So let's do this. Get in there. And, and sometimes I'll do like a second pass. Uh, Elena says backgrounds. Okay, taking a background class. Okay, not fundraising. That's funny, your auto, your auto, auto spell or auto correct changed backgrounds to fundraising. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> don't you love autocorrect sometimes you're trying to say something and all of a sudden it's the wrong thing I've seen entire gags about that <laughs> where someone's messaging, messaging their mother and they say the wrong thing <laughs> and they're like son how dare you say that to your mother it's like I didn't mean that okay so let's see here so going through here just trying to do some de-smudge Take the, what I do is I take the marquee tool, go around, grab this big chunk right here, erase it, and then it's gone. Just like that. So I go around here, go up. Uh, I know it's probably surprising. Uh, usually the live stream has more people. Uh, I think what's happening is everyone thought it was on Thursday. I even got some messages. People were asking me, is it, is it today? Is it today? But yesterday we were pushing out the Toontober and I didn't want to overshadow Toontober because that was yesterday was day one of Toontober. And I just wanted it to be as good as it could be. All right, let's go here. Get rid of this. All right. So now if I zoom out, I believe it's this, yes, zoom out, all that smudge that was in here is gone. Nice and clean. So let me get over here and go inside of here. But it's been it's been pretty crazy, you know, the end of September. And we have Don Booth University and the students are getting ready to graduate. And we've had another class starting too. So and I build the website and get it all ready and I set up all the students' usernames and stuff. Um, so that that is pretty time consuming but you got to do it got to get ready for the next class and it's gonna be a fun class too Don did a lot of uh, updates to some of the lessons so they're gonna be pretty exciting I'm thinking about even doing some of the lessons myself to polish up oh wrong button oh come on the marquee it shows polyline for some reason that's strange Oh, uh, come on. Okay. That I did not want. Okay, so let's go back over here. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> so we get rid of all this. And then that will be nice and clean on the inside. Uh, the last video I did, it wasn't actually a live stream. I just did a video of recording myself talking and... I need to do the eraser there. 
I just recorded myself talking because again, the live, the, something's going on with the live stream, and that's why the numbers are so low. Is because the live stream is not on YouTube; it's only on Facebook. But for future reference, I will be doing live streams every Thursday. That's that's the plan. It's just things have been getting in the way the last two weeks. I went to California, uh, tune. October, but now that's all running and good and I'm back so I can do live streams pretty easily. Oop, undo that. I'll go back over here. Okay, that's nice and clean. Get around here, get rid of that. That's not needed. Go around here. So what I do is go up, around, oop, up, around, take this, take that, go in, and then delete. Good. All right. So let's zoom out and see how that looks. Yeah, that looks pretty good. You know what? I can get rid of this. That does not need to be in there. There we go. Uh, also, if you could let me know if the stream is going well. I'm not sure if the if there's dropped frames or anything, or if there's having issues. Um, I got somebody contacted me who watched my live stream, the last one, and told me I should try a different program for live streaming. And I'm looking into that because uh, for some reason the Streamlabs stuff just doesn't just doesn't want to cooperate. And it could be because I'm on a Mac. One person told me that it could be because I'm on a Mac. But I mean, most artists use Macs. So <laughs> that's that's just a given. So if it is because I'm on a Mac, I'm not going to switch to a PC. For live streams, I'll just find a better streaming service uh, to use. But yes. Uh, also, I'm going to be showing you guys the last Blue Fable that is pretty much finished. Uh, we're just final again. We're finalizing music. We got some music back. It was great. Uh, Don had a couple notes, so he doesn't want anyone to hear the audio until it's done. And it is almost done. So that should be hopefully either the next live stream or the stream after that where you'll get to hear Don reading the fable. But in the meantime, I can show you the finished drawings. Uh, I showed it in the last video, uh, but I'm not sure if all you guys have seen it. So I will do that. In fact, let me do that now. So let me pull up the first one. So let's see, Blue Fables, Fable 1, and Page 1. So here's Page 1 of Blue Fables. So I'm doing the same thing. As you can see, this, this used to have tons and tons of smudge everywhere. And I went in and I basically got rid of the smudged and erased the smudged, smudge parts and then colored the characters and then painted uh, a watercolor background. Okay, that's page one. Let me show you page two. Page two. Again, you got rid of the smudge. As you can see on the inside, it's nice and clean everywhere. And then painted the background. Okay, that was page two. Let me show you page three. Here's page three. I did not say, let me, let me see something. Page three. Oh, it wants to open up Photoshop. Okay. Uh, this is pretty much page three. I did finish this inside of here in the last video, but it's on a PSD. And I don't want to open Photoshop because I don't want the stream to slow down or anything. So let me close that and now show you page four. And here's page four. I actually started on page four. So this is the first one I actually did. And of course, got rid of the smudge and colored in everything. So there you have it. Okay. So let me close that up. All right. Perfect. 
So here we are back on desmudging, and the desmudging, there is quite a lot to do here. Let me see here. Whoops. Okay. All right. So let me take the marquee, get in there, and start deleting. So just go in here and delete. Grab all that. You can go around here. I will be cleaning around here also, but okay. And delete it, just like that. Very good. So let me go in here, delete this. Or instead of saying delete, I can say erase. I am erasing this. Okay, take the marquee, go around. So I'm glad I'm actually starting on the second one. Uh, like I said, the first one's pretty much done, besides the, oh, and Don also is creating the logo for Blue Fables. Um, so he's been working on that too. It's gonna be pretty huge. Then I'm going to color that uh, back or uh, logo. And it's gonna be old classic style, like a book, a book being open, but it's not gonna be open. It's just gonna like cross dissolve into the story and title cards and stuff like that. And if you're familiar with title cards, whenever you like watch Looney Tunes, the that's a title card. And then it has the names of the people who worked on and everything. Those are title cards. If you're unfamiliar with what a title card is, I'm sure most of you do know. All right, let me get in here, erase around here. I'm definitely surprised by the by the amount of people that are joining the uh, Toontober. I'm very pleased with that, and uh, Don loves the idea too. He's like, that's great, get everybody involved, you know, and help support the art community. He's all about that too, so. I'm very surprised. I mean, the, the social media, we made brand new social media pages for it just yesterday. The Instagram one got over a thousand followers like immediately. And then the Twitter and the Facebook ones have over 200. So it's just going to keep growing. So maybe next year, Toontober could be, you know, a worldwide phenomenon if this year more and more people uh, get involved. So that's pretty cool. All right. Let me go around here. So this story, if you're wondering what this story is about, because you see a cat and a dog, I'll zoom out in a second here, it's a cat and a dog who get married. <laughs> and Don thought it was a, a good idea, and it's a sweet story, and um, Don wrote the entire fable. And I think this is my, he, there's 12 of them, and I read all 12 of them, and I think three of them are my favorite, or four of them are my favorite, uh, that I just like really cracked up. From the stories they're all very sweet and charming so all 12 of them i'm really looking forward to working on all of them and getting them all finished and out there for all the dance fans and fans of animation all right let's see okay gotta run all that let me erase that and then i'll zoom out and show you guys so let me go around here This right here. Uh, some people might want uh, an update on Don's autobiography, so I do have one. So we found an agent, and then she said, "Well, she she, she was brutally honest with us and said, uh, I'm not really uh, an agent who does autobiographies. I do young adult novels. So she's like, I've never done it before, and you really should get somebody." an agent who knows autobiographies. So that's what we're in the hunt for now. She had a couple recommendations, uh, and we just want to choose the right agent because we want to make sure it's in all the stores, you know, and not self-publish or anything like that. So uh, it's not like a strike out or anything. That's more like, well, we need to find someone who specializes in that. You know, it's kind of like, you know, you don't hire a, a, a plumber to clean your ducks, you know, <laughs> or you don't hire a, 
a car mechanic, you know, to fix your roof. It's the same thing. You know, different agents do different things. And we understood that. And But she was like, thank you so much for contacting. And, you know, so it's a bummer. But we're going to find the right agent for Don and get that book published. We just want to make sure it's perfect, you know. Because there's, there's only one time Don can do an autobiography. You can't do multiple autobiographies. He's not a politician. <laughs> but we're really excited about getting that out there and um, it is finished like Don did officially finish it just a couple days ago so it is done uh, Don said he's reading through it one more time he always does that though where he wants to read through it just to double check if there's any errors because I mean once it goes to an, uh, you know, a company or a publisher they're going to want to edit, edit, edit it themselves as well and that's totally understandable. So, but he wants it to be perfect off the bat, so there's less mistakes or anything. So, but hopefully we can get that out there. Hey, Toby John, woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> okay. And it's funny because Don won't let me read it. He's like, not yet, not yet. <laughs> He's like, I want to read the whole thing. I've only been able to read like a couple pages here and there that he's let me read. Um, I don't know. I don't think he's nervous about someone reading it. He just wants it to be perfect before anybody reads it, which I understand. I would probably be the same way. Yakino Dwayne X X D X D X D. That's funny. Draw a minion. Well, actually, I'm I'm actually just working, and you guys are just following along while I'm working. I figured, you know, do live streams while I work, and if people want to join, they can join, they can watch, they can listen to me talk. Uh, you know, I could talk for hours. I'm a talker. I'm a talkie. <laughs> so if you guys, that, that that's basically what this is. It's just uh, I'm not sitting here drawing things or taking requests or anything like that. I'm I'm literally on the clock working on Bluth Fables and trying to get this uh, done. And uh, basically it's like an open studio where you guys see inside of Don Bluth Studios while I'm working. So sorry about that. Yukino, I think it's a Yukino, I think so. I actually took, uh, I'm actually, a, people always ask me, do you like anime? Because some, some like traditional artists don't like anime. I'm actually a huge fan of anime uh, myself. Let's see. I accidentally did that. Let me zoom out. I'm a big fan of anime. And I took Japanese in uh, high school. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I took Japanese in high school and I learned hiragana and I learned some katakana. I did not get into kanji though because kanji is like Chinese letters. And kanji, there's like 5,000. Imagine our alphabet having 5,000 letters. Like, a, we, have, we have, what, 26? Is it? I think it's 26 or 20. I'm pretty sure it's 26. But we have like 26. They have over 5,000 characters in uh, kanji. So I don't know if there's anybody out there, unless that's all they study. I'm sure even Japanese people don't know all the kanji. Because there's just so much. It's almost like giving a logo to everything. And knowing logos. Tons of different logos. But I did learn hiragana. I was pretty good at hiragana. Katakana, we, get, we, we touched into and I did some. Never got to finish. Or I did, did a full year of it. But it was mostly like how to speak it. Like, ohayo gozaimasu. And, uh. Things like that. It was a long time ago too, so <laughs> I don't remember all of it. But I would I, I love the Japanese culture and I love anime. I'm a big fan of anime. So yeah. How does that look? That looks great. Good. Let me get in there and use the lasso just in case. So take the lasso tool, get in there. I think one of my main reasons I learned Japanese at the time, because I was big into anime in junior high and high school, and I was like, I want to be able to just watch it in its original form 
and not have subtitles or listen to the really crappy English dubs. <laughs> some English dubs are good. Like, I'll admit, like, the 90s had some really good English dubs, but the newer stuff, not so much. I don't know. It's just hard. So I just watch, I always watch anime in its, in its original uh, language, Japanese, of course, and just have subtitles on. I'm still trying to finish Naruto, and uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of episodes. And now they've got Boruto, which is his son, which is even more episodes. I mean, can you imagine working on an, an, a cartoon for that long, that many episodes, thousands of episodes? I mean, kind of like The Simpsons, you know? It's just tons and tons and tons of episodes. That'd be amazing. But it would take up your whole life. Because I've been watching Naruto since, wow, over 20 years, and they're still making it. So, like, you, you, you could... If you worked on an anime like that, you'd basically spend your entire life on a single show. That'd be crazy. But cool. Alright, let's see. Going around here. I'm going to probably have to get back in some of these spots and polish it up after I zoom out and see what's the best route to take with them. Some people have asked me, how come how come I do it this way? How come I don't use like an auto select or just use the marquee? Well, this using this eraser, it allows me to basically not eat the line. Something I call eat the line. And you don't want to eat the line, especially, you know, any artist when they do artwork, they don't want to see their lines destroyed. So this is not my original drawing, this is Don's drawing. So I'm trying to keep it as original and on point to his pencil lines as possible. So that's why I do it that way. And auto select is not perfect. It, I've, I've had so many issues, we've tried so many different ways. Uh, I even had a guy I know like just try for months to try to find and then I could still spot the errors. Like, no, there's still errors, there's still errors. It's eating the line. So there is no auto quick way to do it without either losing the line or, oops, uh, losing the line or making the line lighter. And I don't want to do that. I want the line to be perfect. So it looks like a pencil line and it doesn't lose its thickness. Here, get that all around here, get all that around here, and then boop, gone. But you can see the difference between this area here and this area here. And if I turn on a different color, say pink, you really can tell the difference of how dirty one area is compared to another. And sometimes I turn on pink just because white is sometimes like. It draw, your eyes get tired of looking at white, so then I'll just start using a different color background and clean with that color. Like, I can actually see some problems here. Like, I got to get rid of all this here, bring that down some over here. I can see some here. But as you can see, pink really lets you see the actual issues. I just use pink, but I mean, you could use blues, you can use greens, as long as it's bright. Don't use anything dark because it's a dark line. So if you use a dark color, you're going to probably miss out on stuff by accident because the, the color of the lines are, are dark. Oop, I see that there. All right. So let me go in there and get rid of the majority of this. Go down to about here, grab all this, go around. A lot of this inside here I might be deleting though. I can tell. I probably will be. See, I accidentally did that. There we go. Now that's clean. Let's go over here and get rid of all this. Look how easy that is. Just bam. Just go in there and just grab it. 
go up, go around, go around, go around, go around. And there it is. I think I messed up right here. I think that's all the mess ups I did. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Gone. Nice and clean. All right, let me zoom out. Yeah, like in here, this foot, I'm probably just going to get rid of that whole thing. So let me go in there. So you can't tell until you... You really can't tell until you zoom out, like where where it should be, where what you should be getting rid of. Because what I see here is... Like he when he drew the foot, when Don drew the foot, he drew it twice. And then he raced it once. So let me get in there and smooth all this out. It's probably even more. There we go. There we go. Perfect. So now what I'll have to do is clean inside of here, but I'll do that after I get rid of this other stuff here and go back down over here. Yeah, there's still this. Cool. All right. So I've got all this. It looks like there's some drop frames. I'm seeing that right now with Streamlabs. I'm really, I, what I might end up doing is recording myself working in the future. Uh, because it seems like we're having issues with the live stream. It says right here on the live stream, 19 times it's dropped. So you guys might be hearing me saying, Oop, ah, mm, ah, e, ah. <laughs> but I am recording this. So because I'm recording this, uh, I'll be putting up the full version with no errors on YouTube. I just really like interacting with everybody. But I know it's a big turnoff when, you know, the live stream is not working. It makes us look unprofessional. So for the time being, until we find an alternative, I might just record myself working and post it on YouTube. Then you can watch it uninterrupted without any errors. And then once in a while, do a live stream or something. All right, let's see. So let me zoom out here again. I notice the difference between the magnifying glass in Photoshop and in Clip Studio. In Clip Studio, it's the question mark, which is next to the shift on the right. And in Photoshop, it's M for magnifying glass. So it took me a while to figure that one out. Oh, see this little arrow right here? This little arrow right here needs to be erased. So let me get in there. Grab that out of there. Go on here. That. So you really can't tell when you're when you're when I'm doing it really close. You know, sometimes you can't even tell what you're working on. Am I working on a foot? Is it an arm? <laughs> what is it? So it's always good to zoom out and double check what it was. There, nice and clean. Same with over here. You can see all this little extra stuff right here. Erase that. There we go. Great. And then right here, that's unneeded. Then right here, that's probably unneeded. Right here. Get in here. Let me thin that out a little bit. Okay, now let me zoom out. Yeah, see? So it looks nice and nice and clean. Very good. Okay, so I did all that. Oh, there's still all this. All right, get in here. M on uh, the keyboard in Clip Studio is marquee. In case some of you, hotkeys, they're called hotkeys, and I mean, I've been using hotkeys forever, but you know, when you, when you use maybe, what, 30, 20, 10, 10, 20, or 30 different programs all the time, Especially if you work on the computer all day at work as well, then you go home and you're an artist. I'm pretty sure if you're like in a cubicle, you've got some program you're using with all these hotkeys. And sometimes hotkeys are the same. 
But thank goodness, like copy and paste and cut, all that is universal. So it's just, you know, it's always the same. Can you imagine if there's a program out there like, well, cut doesn't, it's not, what is it, command C anymore. It's something else. <laughs> it, just, it would just drive people crazy. <laughs> and I would be one of those people who would be driven crazy by it. So, okay, so let me zoom out completely. So as you can see, this whole area was once before nasty and all this gunk like that. It's all nice and clean now. It's perfect. I like how that looks. Let me get the, I'll get the side too. Let's see. So go in there and erase that. Uh, I will, so there has been something else I, I want to discuss with uh, the viewers or the fans. I don't know if you hear that big car driving by with probably a big giant V8 engine. Uh, we've been getting a lot of messages, and I've been getting a lot of private messages, people looking for work and I because of the new Domless, because we announced Domless Studios. So what I want to touch base on that is when there are job positions available, we will most definitely post them on our social media. So be sure you follow, you know, Twitter.com slash Dombless Studios, Instagram.com slash Dombless Studios, uh, Facebook.com slash Dombless Studios. Follow all our social media accounts because once we have job positions available, uh, we will post them and we'll be asking for people's portfolios and work experience and stuff like that. Uh, I could see us doing some internships. Uh, we actually did some internships last year for some Don Bluth University students. That worked out pretty well. And um, yes, so that that that's the thing. So if if you are interested in that, be sure you just follow us so that when there are positions available to the general public, you know we will post that up and. If you're on our social media, you'd be the first to see it. But I probably got maybe a hundred plus messages <laughs> about jobs. And uh, man, would I love to be able to hire everybody. Have a big giant studio of like a thousand people. That would be amazing. All right, let's see. Keep getting the hotkeys wrong. I, I'm like, is it M? Is it is it question mark? <laughs> there we go. Nice and clean. Look at that. So now I'm going to zoom out. So you saw how it was pretty much as dirty as this. And now it's as clean as that. So let me zoom out. So you can really tell the difference between the two. Look at that. Totally see it. Okay. So let me continue to go around the spaceship itself. I think I've already gone this far. Yes, I did. So I went this far. So let me just go around here, around here. There we go. So now I'll just grab this big giant chunk. <laughs> this hotkeys. So I grab this chunk here. Let's see, go around or go through. I might actually have to get closer to the line here. Let me. Zoom out. No, I think once I clean the inside, that could still work. But let me get over here. Get that eraser tool. At least eraser is the same on. It's the same on uh, Photoshop and Clip Studio. Get in here. Okay. Go up here. Around here. Very good. Grab that chunk. The marquee. Or I guess it's called the lasso tool. The marquee is something else. I think the marquee. Oop. I think the marquee is actually the square lasso tool. <laughs> All right. There we go. That's good. Okay. Go around. 
sometimes I'll do long, broad strokes, you know, like just long, broad strokes all the way around. Sometimes I'll just dab it, you know, just lightly tap it and go around. It really just depends. There's no rhyme or reason. I mean, unless you feel like you can just go like this, this one long stroke, but then, you know, I'm, then I'm going back and cleaning up some spots with dabbing. So really, it just depends. I was talking to another artist uh, last night, and they were asking me, what, what are you doing your live streams on? Are you doing it on a big Cintiq 24-inch, or do you got 27-inch? I'm like, no, nope, this is the 16. He's like, 16? How do you work on such a small Cintiq? I'm like, that's all you need. You don't need anything elaborate. <laughs> He's so used to uh, working on a giant... Uh, Cintiq. <laughs> I mean, but a 16 works just fine, you know? And especially if, you know, you're trying to budget. I do have a bigger Cintiq at the office. Because right now I'm at home doing this. Uh, but I do have a bigger Cintiq at the office that, here, I'll get this, that I use. But at home, I like a smaller one because it fits on my desk and it's portable. So I can take it, you can pack it up, and then bring it somewhere because I like I like to work in multiple places so I, I can work in my office I can work in the living room and you can just easily pack it up when it's the smaller 16 compared to lugging around <laughs> a big giant Cintiq that's what 27 inch or the 24 inch those things are humongous I understand having those if you know you would just you have one office one place but I do like a change of scenery uh, I don't know if you guys do too, but a nice change of scenery where you're, I don't know, doing artwork outside of the house. I got a friend who loves working in his backyard. He just brings his computer outside. He's got a plug and just works out, works in Florida. So it's beautiful in Florida. So he just goes outside, works. He's in a nice backyard. Uh, you see the animals and the birds and all that, and it's, it's peaceful. But when you're in an office staring at a wall, I don't know. I'm sure many artists have a lot of toys and stuff. I've got toys and stuff of characters, my favorite characters and stuff. I guess they're more like Marquettes. They're not toys. Marquettes. <laughs> not actual toys. I don't play with them like a, a little boy would. <laughs> okay, so I think I already cleaned this area. It looks like I cleaned that area already. So let me go in here make this a little bigger. Go in here and just clean around. Uh, there's more news. Uh, Don has a theater out here. And when I talked to him today, he said there's been a lot of progress. The walls are up. And all the walls are up. Because basically it was one big, large industrial space. And then you've got to build walls and all that kind of stuff. So they finally finished the walls. And it looks amazing, he says. So I'm actually going to be going there over the weekend and checking it out myself. So I'm really excited about seeing the progress on the theater. Because I really miss going to Don's Theater and watching plays. It's a, it's a joy to do. Here, let's grab all this. Very good. And then also today, like I said earlier, if you were here earlier listening, uh, that he gave me the final drawing of this fable. And let me find the name of this fable. Let's see. The name of this fable is The Wedding of a Dog and a Cat. That's the name of this fable. <laughs> I love that name. So it's basically about a cat and a dog getting married, which is crazy awesome. And I'm looking forward to getting this thing up and running. And there's going to be some motion on this one. The last, the last one we did, there wasn't any motion. This one, there's going to be two different frames. And then the third fable, every different page is going to have some motion. We're, call, we're going to call it story motion, where it will like cross dissolve to one character. The same background, but a character will move. And it's not like 24 frames per second or anything. It's more like uh, 
you know, two separate frames and it cross dissolves and has motion. So we're calling it story motion. I'm sure there's another word for it. Would have to research it. But but it's not full blown animation. But we're hoping to one day turn these blue fables into, you know, foam blown animated shorts. Because technically they could be a minute long, but I'm sure if we we're making shorts, we'd want to make them Looney Tunes length, which is what, seven minutes, I think. I noticed on I, I noticed on uh, Apple TV they're doing a lot of these really short short shows like Fraggle Rock is back, and they're doing this like Zoom call type thing, uh, but the episodes are only only five minutes long a piece. They're really really short, so it seems like that could be done. Like we could do something where it's short and get maybe get it on Apple TV or something. But again, we gotta we gotta do this first. Finish them at least this much. But we wouldn't want them to be a minute long because that's how long they are right now. Like the first Blue Fable is only a minute long, and that's pretty short. It's not really enough to I don't know put on television or put on a streaming service because one minute goes by pretty fast. <laughs> so let me get in here. There we go. That looks good. And these small little crevices. He has a little crevice right here. I've got to bring the eraser down so small just so I can fit it in there. It works just great. Perfect. All right. And then once you're in a bigger, larger area, you can, you know, of course, make the eraser just a bit bigger. Like that. Perfect. Cool. Okay. So let me get around here too. There we go. Got to get inside here too, but I'll do that later. So let me get the marquee, go around, and then I'll zoom out and show you what it looks like. Okay, go around here. Grab that, grab that, and that. I kind of ate the line here, so make sure I fix that. Did I screw up anywhere else? I think that's it. Yes, okay. Perfect. There you go. Now let me zoom out. So it's coming along nicely. So today I did all this inside here, around here, and out the outside. Pretty much the outside of the ship was very important. Going to the, the moon. Good. There we go. Okay. So I would like to, at the end of this, uh, now let's give a shout out to everybody involved with the, let me go back to the Discord. And that's going to be, oh, bookmarks bar. So it's tunetober.com. Oh, look at that. We just hit 4,500 members. That is awesome. Okay, so this is our Discord. So I just want to talk about this. Uh, let me get in here. Okay. Go to submissions. And give a shout out to everybody who's been doing submissions. So let me go through some of these submissions and plug some of the artists here on the Discord uh, Toontober channel. Okay, so we've got Dewey. Looks like Babs Bunny. And remember, this is the rubber hose, the three days of rubber hose for Toontober. You got Ultra Ninja 13, very nice. Uh, Chimera, that's Oswald. Toasty bread, that's pretty cool. I just, I did my own, I can pass that. <laughs> Sal, that's very nice. Paul Gogurt, nice to be this a cat. 8 Ball Studios, I'm a big fan of Crush Bandicoot. I even bought the mask 
and, and uh, I don't go trick or treating or anything, but it'd be great if I was a kid because I'd go trick or treating with with that mask, the mask of uh, the um, not not of Crash Bandicoot, but of the the, the, the items you pick up. Uh, a large woman. That's an interesting username. <laughs> as an Oswald rabbit. Uh, Dewey looks like he colored it. Yikes, XF. Sin Cipher did some animation. Oh, that's another thing. For for this Toontober, because it's for people who love animation and animators, you can animate and increase your chances of winning first place and winning all those cells. Okay, we've got another Dewey. We've got Pedro. That's pretty cool. We got Cadence. Cadence. Looks like she's hitchhiking, I think. Summig 210. I know I have to do this cat. Beautiful. The Dapper Penguin. That looks pretty sweet. Earl Satchel and Nicoma Culture. <laughs> it's a very long name. There's Bimbo. Astrobat. I love the colors being different. That's pretty cool. Gucci or Gucci. Mickey Mouse. That's a great drawing of Mickey Mouse. Good job. Uh, N gibberish at Betty Boop. Gotta love Betty Boop. Maylin Vaz. Mayday Jones in Toontober. Very nice. I love that style of eyes. Uh, Jessica Mosqueda. I am butchering these names. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm sure some of you who made these are going to see this video and uh, tell me I said your name wrong. So I'm apologizing in advance. <laughs> Blue Rapunzel, there's another Oswald, very nice. ARJB, very cool, very cool. You got Darker Day, the classic cow from the uh, Mickey Mouse cartoons, or Silly Symphonies. Canal, or Canal, Canali. Again, I'm butchering it, I'm so sorry. Another Oswald, The Art of Eli, Oswald, very nice. Jeffrey the Wolf, a Teenage Prison Ninja Turtles in the old style. This is awesome. Uh, Mary Rose, Betty Boop, looks like she's a vampire. Very cool. Venetia, uh, very cool. A little ghost with going trick or treating. Emily Martin 18, very nice. That was great. Morana, Mor Morana. I am so sorry about your names. <laughs> That's very cool. I like how he's missing limbs. Very cool style. Y G Y or uh, J Y Gamer three three three. Very cool. Zam, I want to say Yam, but it's probably Zam. <laughs> very cool. Uh, Ray animation. Very cool. Raleigh or Rally confused. Nice, you colored it. Very cool. I almost feel like Miyazaki in there somewhere. That's pretty cool. Shankopotamus. <laughs> Great name. <laughs> uh, very cool. Fun Mickeys. Sergeant 16-bit. You got a little animation of Sonic. That is so cool. Old style Sonic. That's so cool. Very fun. J, J Otoro. O1. Very cool. Chibiari. Nice, nice. I love Betty Boop. Super Drummer Girl. <laughs> Got a Pac-Man. That's excellence. This is cute right here. Space Prince. Very good. Good job. Dead Cool Productions. Ah, cool. Nightmare Before Christmas. Converted to the old style. Very nice. Stefana. This looks nice. This almost looks like it's pulled right out of the show. Very good. Chimera. Very cool. It's an OC, I believe. Dewey, second day. Very cool. Nice, nice fox. Very nice. Ultra Ninja 13. Very cool. Looks like you got it a little wet over here. Darker Day. Very cool. Nice. The Thinking Man. I think they call it. Diego Artista Conode. I'm butchering these names. I'm so sorry. Let's play that actually. Oh, very cool. Let me play that again. Very nice. I love this. Toontober, you get a great chance to practice. 
I can't wait to see everyone's progress throughout the entire month. Diego, very nice. Sin Cipher, oh, it's animation, very cool. I think that's Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy mixed with uh, Pokemon evolving, maybe. <laughs> uh, K Meister, nice, nice little turtle there. The Dapper Penguin. Oh, that looks great. That 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 looks like it's straight out of the cartoon. That is nice. Oh, that's awesome. And gibberish. The Joker. Felix says the Joker. That's awesome. Stefana. There, yeah, that's so nice. Another one. Looks like it's straight out of the cartoon. Very nice. A large woman. Very good. Good. Uh Peg Leg or the Peg Leg Pete. Semeg 210. Another Oswald, very cool. Speed Slide, very cool. Pedro, nice, nice. Uh, Sergeant 16 bit, Wario, that's great. Mihi, Milhi, Milhi, 23 AV, very cool. Giving Earth its medicine. <laughs> I tried a rubber hose cat girl for the day one. Very good, Kawaii. Uh, Gugnol, <laughs> sorry, your biggest fan, very cool, it's nice, nice, very nice, um, you say, my husband's been teaching me violin during social distancing, very cool, Nickus 3000, Erica Bay, ah, uh, nice little, not a gerbil, I guess that's a, with the big tail there, why am I, the, the name of the animal is escaping me, um, not a hedgehog, it's, a. Uh, I've even drawn this guy, Beaver, there you go. <laughs> Ray animation, cool. Joker, Joker, Joker 6, very cool. Victoria Gies, nice. Oswald, all sexy. <laughs> very good, everybody. Very pleased. This is, has been very successful uh, first day. Very nice, cool. Well, there you have it, everybody. Uh, again, I'm Lavelle from uh, Dombly Studios. I'm the VP here. And also I, I from traditionalanimation.com. And now, Toontober. So if you have any questions, you know, don't hesitate to send me a message or join our Discord, ask questions in there. You know, we've got mods. Uh, there's Stephanie, Warren, and Pedro and myself in the Discord. Uh, we're all there to help during this time of uh, this contest, full month contest. And it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger. So hopefully you can join us on Toontober. Uh, as what's in front of you right now is a Bluth Fable, which we're working on for Don Bluth Studios. And uh, we're getting, we're, this is the first page of the second story. The first story, we're still, you know, finalizing the music and getting the Bluth Fables logo made and everything that we're Don's drawing it out. So it is happening. Uh, so there you have it. Again, thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. And uh, I hope you can join me for the next one. And I will be putting this on YouTube. So uh, if you were having issues on Facebook and it was dropping frames, it will be up on YouTube in a perfect fashion. So again, thank you so much. And uh, see you next time.